Okay, I'm Fabrice Bardsley and we're here at uh, Worthing Town Hall to try and find out exactly why Worthing Borough Council and uh, Worthing Police decided to obtain a Section 30 order whereby they'll be able to move people arbitrarily from the town centre or any one of the parks in the town uh, and ban them for 24 hours. So hopefully we'll be able to find somebody who'll be able to tell us um, what's going on and why. Hiya. 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 Um, we're doing a, a, a small, small piece on the Section 30 um, order that Worthing Borough Council and Sussex Police uh, are going to be enforcing from the 1st of June to the 31st of August. Would it be possible to speak to somebody about that? Section 30, what, what's that for? Um, that's the order for Worthing Police to move people on from the centre of town or from Homefield or Victoria Park for um, suspected antisocial behaviour. This is right. the, the, the odd thing. Okay, um, just trying to think. You don't know Martin? Legal. Legal, yeah? Yeah, Portland House. Okay. Portland House? Yeah. Um, okay, shall I go to Portland yeah, House? Yeah, do you know where it is? There? Yes, certainly. Okay. Okay. We've just been to the town hall. We're inquiring about the section or, uh, section 30 order, which was recently um, granted by Worthing Borough Council in relation to antisocial behaviour in the town. Um, we were after some, some more information regarding that, um, and they suggested that we come here and speak to somebody in the legal department. Right. Okay. Who are you from? Uh, we're freelance reporting. You're taking photographs, I hope. Uh, we, yeah, we record everything we do. Speak to the lady on the phone. That's probably the easiest thing to do. Thanks. Hello there. Uh, I'd like to um, uh, speak to somebody regarding the uh, uh, Section 30 dispersal order. Would you be able to facilitate uh, um, a, a, arranging an interview with somebody who could uh, answer questions on that matters? Yeah, it's a general article on uh, well, on the nature of uh, the Section 30 order. Why the wording in Pacific. Uh, is the only town in Sussex to have, uh, to have applied for and been granted a Section 30 order. It'll probably be the no-state project in, 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 in the US that, that, that's most interested in this in, in terms of commissioning, but where the original article will end up, uh, well, you know, it, 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 could be, it could be anywhere, whoever's interested. Thank you very much indeed for your help. We're here now outside Worthing Police Station and uh, we're going to go in and see if we can uh, a uh, range of appointment, I've got any comments from anybody from our local police force to see if they can tell us why they need these powers to arbitrarily pick people up off the street and ban them from the town for a day. Hello. Um, I've read today that uh, the Northern Borough Council have got a Section 30 dispersal order they have. for Worthing uh, Town Centre and the parks. Yeah. Um, would it be possible to speak to somebody from uh, the police force about the? I'm um, freelance reporter. Freelance reporter. Yeah. Right. Um, okay. I've got a freelance reporter here who would like to speak to someone about the section 30 and working and why they have a area that's has a need for like press release now. Yeah. 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 I've, I've read that. I wondered if there was anybody from your, you know, public relations department who I could talk to about. Um, some of the things that the press release doesn't cover. Uh, all the which the press relations are at the headquarters. In Lewis? No, no, local Lewis, yeah. ones. Okay, so... Uh, okay, so you don't have anybody from, from Worthing here locally who'd be able to talk to me. And would Lewis be privy to the local reasons for why that was? I often I find that I go and speak to somebody yeah. at head yeah. office yeah. Yeah. and they come back and they say to me, you know, I've got no idea what's happening on the street in Worthing. The, the whole consultation process has gone through, hasn't it? Yeah. To materials, creation, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and the transparency of that is what yeah. we're, we're interested in, is exactly how and why, because uh, obviously the, 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 there's been a certain amount of interest because Worthing is the only town in Sussex to um, to feel the need for a section 30. For this length of time, anyway. Yeah, they can wrap up six months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've only, only, only managed to reference the one in West Sussex. Yeah, there's plenty. Okay. There's one in Durrington before. Yeah. Uh, well, we've got the Freedom of Information Act being filed, so yeah. hopefully that should give us you know, the, yeah, the, 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 the full details.
one or two in Worthing. I know there's been the Hastings, there's been Faulkner. Okay, that's great. Sorry, thank you very Cheers. much indeed. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. In section 30, and the police don't like you, yeah. like what you're wearing or the way you're acting, they can take you to get out and disperse you for 24 hours. And if you don't listen, three months in prison. Really? That's not fair. <laughs> you didn't get any trouble with the police, did you? Well, not today. Oh, not today, that's good. No, well, why? Do you know about section 30? The council have just signed it, the police enforce it. Is this what this is all about? Is it? Yeah, this, so you're, you're fine here in a group oh, of so two or three, right. you're fine here, but in there, wow. if you do something the police doesn't like, you know, they don't need any evidence. They can think, no. well, he's wearing glasses, and you know what they can do with glasses? Yeah. They can get the rave, they can set fire to buildings, you know, something stupid, whatever they want. But if you shout loudly, or if you have an argument, or anything that upsets any policeman and a community support officer. The plastic ones. The plastic ones, the ones who shouldn't, PCSOs. yeah, the PCSOs, the ones who shouldn't have who don't have any rights, uh, the, the rights that the police do, the ones who go through the training, they actually now have the power to do the same thing. So you, this is all the seafront here, isn't it? All this? Yeah, yeah, all the seafront yeah. and the pier. You know, places where groups of two and three, two or more, are going to be pretty... Uh, That's the thing though, isn't it? Because there's two of us, apparently we're going to be, we'll be a gang. You're in a group of three, so it targets you. If the police think you're going to be antisocial, they can ask you to move on for the next 24 hours, okay? Hello, well I'm done, I'm leaving section 30. <laughs> There's some information you need just in case you think about going back. Oh wow! Oh can, my god! They can tell you to stay out of there for 24 hours, and if you don't listen, that's three months in a cage. Sorry, a jail. You know, a prison cell. Or two and a half thousand pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, this is notice from Sussex Police. This is now a section 30 dispersal zone. Please be aware that from now on, for the next three months, you may be asked to move on arbitrarily by a police officer or a police community support officer. Failure to obey such an instruction can result in a three month imprisonment and or a £2,500 fine. Thank you. I don't think they're doing a good job. Go home. Go home that way. See like, that? Okay. Like you do it. Like you do anything else. 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 Yeah. 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 Sick. This is now a section 30 zone. If you are thinking of committing any antisocial behaviour, please step over this line and you will be able to do it safely. Oh, really? Oh. Right. You don't have to have any uh, evidence of crime. If they think you're going to commit crime, oh, yeah. think you're going to yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can move you off. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of those crimes now that people think. Yeah. 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 Oh, thank you. People at the bus stop, if you are asked by a PCO, PCSO, or a policeman, if you are in a group, pretend you don't know each other. And you, with the Nirvana t-shirt, I don't like your t-shirt, I want you out of this town for the next 24 hours. And if you don't listen, you owe me some money. And he's showing tattoos in his arm. Oh no. But he's outside of section 30 in 3, 2, what? He's safe, guys. He's safe. He made it out. Letting everybody know that. Uh, oh, no, you're not going to think you're going to do this. Hey, we were having yes. a conversation, please. I know. Excuse me. 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 Excuse
Uh, quite possibly. It might have been left in some of his notes and we picked up on it a few years later. Well, I think we need to make these letters Tony as Blair big Stalin. as we possibly can and stand out. Yeah. It's yeah. a pity we can't use paint. No vandalism because I, I don't cause anybody loss and or harm ever. Six not and my 30. Oh my god. <laughs> 1984. Yeah, yes. exactly. As we're here at Victoria Park, um, we'd like to ask James some of his thoughts on the Section 30 order uh, that's uh, been enforced in Worthing. So why do you think Worthing Borough Council and Worthing Police have decided to, um, to, to get a Section 30 enforced for, for this lovely park, Homefield Park in the town centre? Well, I think that's the first thing that concerns me, is why have they done it? Because you know, this is a classic example of a law being put in place to deal with a problem that doesn't even exist as yet. Now, you know, we can all see circumstances where a law is required and you have to do something about it. But this has is, is just a, a potential problem, a vague problem, which they haven't even properly defined. Um, and, and I think any law which is put in place on the basis that something might happen in the future is always on a really, really shaky foundation. And I don't think they've made their case for having this law at all.